haven't been live in a while. So hi to everybody who's joining my live. Uh, make sure you comment down below so I know you guys are here. I'll give you a minute because I did not set up my live. I knew it was going to be somewhere around 2 or 3, but I don't know what year went. So I'm going to be taking off my soft free line because it's so that time. Um, since I did my bottom scum shrink, you all know that. Um, so I'm going to show you my tricks to take them off. Oh, you know what I didn't bring with me? The Unizol. Oh, it's right there. Oh, and just so you guys know, if you're watching this after I do the live, people are always making the comments. Oh, I, can you keep saying the questions out loud because, you know, we don't see what the person says. You can see what the person says. Click live chat when you hit the video and it will automatically show you the entire questions of what everybody says um, during it. So you will be able to see everything. So hi everybody who's joining. I'm trying to take out my denture fit and reapply it. I will not be on to reapply it because I already have videos on how to reapply. But I'm taking out my soft reline and starting all over. The bottom denture one gets crappy quickly. I feel like with soft relines because everything sits on the bottom of your mouth. And it's not loose either. Hey guys! James, Marlene, Trudy, I haven't talked to girls in a minute. I mean, I talk to James on a regular basis. Hey, Mary. Hey, Alaska. So, I know I haven't been on a live in a minute, guys. It's been a shit storm. Life has sucked recently. Medically, it's been a disaster. And I feel like when you medically go through a lot... Hey, other Mary. <laughs> Everybody, it doesn't, guys, you can mess up your soft reline using any product. You know, I've noticed that people make more mess ups when they're afraid. They think, oh, I'm not going to add enough. I got to keep adding. Don't do that. When people add too much, you're going to have to redo the whole soft reline. So always start with a little bit and go from there. But like I said, I'm just taking out denture fit. It is so stuck on my denture. I didn't use the um, Unisol yet. It does come with Unisol. And if you ever need more, you can always order more. You can order more off Amazon, actually. But people always want to know my secrets on how I get it out so quickly. Tweezers. Tweezers. Buy a pair. Have like a denture soft free line kit like I do. When it comes, have cuticle scissors. I have all sorts of things because I do my own work so when you do your own work you got to have your own material and gear oh James bro hey Linda there's times guys where like say I'm cleaning my denture and I use I do it on my counter with a uh, washcloth that I clean my denture well, there's times where my hand's so slippery, it's slipped, especially bottom denture. The bottom denture, there's no pallet, there's no, like, top denture you can grip. Bottom denture, not so much. Um, not like the top anyway. So, yeah, there's a couple times I slipped out of my hand. Luckily, I have the washcloth that lands right on it, but my heart was, like, in my stomach. I was like, don't drop. Yeah, when you... When you're a denture wearer, it's common. I've seen so many people lately. I don't know what people are doing, but they're like, oh, I dropped and broke my denture again. Oh, I dropped it. What are you doing? They're supposed to be in your mouth. How are you breaking them so many times? Or when people say their animal ate it, you should never have your denture just laying on an end table, let alone in reach of a kid, a little kid, or, you know, a dog, cat, whatever. Mainly dogs. Cats don't give two shits. They really don't. Cats don't care. Ow. On my end, it doesn't show any freezing. So you might want to check your Wi-Fi because it could be on your end. I use my data um, because if I use my Wi-Fi with my kids constantly using it, it will freeze. So I just use my data now. So, tweezers is your best bet, guys, taking out any soft reline. Reline it? Well, oh my god, it took me two days to take out. And I mean, continuously, 
we're working on it day in and day out. Yeah, Trudy, word. People have to be careful, but it's the same people that keep breaking their denture or just leaving it out in the open. You guys got to protect your investment. Just like you would keep chemicals away from kids and animals, same thing with dentures. Because they're not cheap to keep replacing. I really should use the thing. It is so stuck on my denture. Because, I mean, I really didn't need to take it out, but with gum shrinkage, your denture gets loose. You really should take out yourself, realign, and redo it. Especially with food, because all your food goes down to the bottom anyway. Wow, it's really in there. It's not the back so much, it's the front. It's so, like, I do my soft realign so well, I can't even get them out sometimes. But if you just play with them, tug, beat the crap out of them, they'll come out. Reline it? I don't care how gifted you are. Reline it is hard to get out of your denture. I even did a video that literally took me two and a half days to make. A while ago. When I used Reline it. And when I mean a while ago, I mean well over a year ago. I will never use... People like, Heather, can you do it again? No. I did it once. Why would I torture myself? Word. True story. I don't know how people eat without their dentures. It's so bad for you. You can get infections. I mean, when I have my real teeth, um, little bits of, like, say if I eat Doritos. Doritos are commonly get stuck in my gums, but even with my real teeth. Big joke that came up. So, yeah. I mean, can you imagine doing it with your just gumming it down? Yeah, no, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I don't even know if you can see the difference. See how it got, it got dyed? Reline, any reliner will get dyed with food. And top dentures, you know, it's not really on food unless you're bashing it. Bottoms have always food on it, always water. No matter what, because food and drinks go down to the bottom. So they stain it. So that's how you always know I'm almost done, because you see the bare pink. And I didn't even need to use this freaking crap. I might use it, though. That was a nice chunk. Yeah, I definitely needed to redo it. I feel like the bottom you need to. to I'm a hygiene person. So, keeping it good and clean. Food's going to stain it. Especially if you're a smoker. And I am a smoker. So, please make sure you're doing your... I have my... These are my immediate dentures, guys. Still immediate bottoms. Uh, it's a year in September. Mid-September? Something like that. Um, my tops are my permanents. So I already started the pro um, permanent process for my bottoms. I go in next week um, to do the bike block, I think. Ooh, took it all out in one shot. Amen, sister. Are there dentures that don't cover the roof of the mouth? Um, I would only do horseshoeing dentures um, if you have implants. Like snap-on dentures. So many people have problems and they're like, oh, we're getting rid of the palate. First of all, when they get rid of the palate, they don't really get rid of it. They only get rid of this small little piece. They still have the rest of the part. There's a deeper part because you can't get rid of it. You need it. They have this whole part of the wall. So they really only take off a quarter of an inch. Um, and then they regret it because then they realize their teeth are all messed up. What the hell is that? Um, they realized it was all messed up. So, I, rec I really don't recommend horseshoeing your denture unless you're getting snap-on dentures. Because the palate is what gives it suction and holds it in place. Without that palate, you take it away. It's like the bottom denture. It's all over the place. It'd be the same thing for the top and it keeps falling down. It's way more embarrassing, guys, to do it that way. So, I don't recommend that. Um, in that theory, not really. Most of your taste buds are on your tongue. It's just some of them are randomly through your mouth. But people are so used to, like, because I remember, it wasn't even that long ago I had dentures, so I remember what it was like to have 
the food and hitting the roof of my mouth and doing all that, even if you eat without dentures right now and you eat and see if you taste food on the roof of your mouth. You don't. You only feel it. So it's really the feeling people are missing, not the taste. Seriously, eat without your dentures and just bash the food on the roof of your mouth. Do you have taste buds on top? Nope. You'll feel it. You'll feel the taste buds on your tongue, your cheeks, stuff like that. But the roof of your mouth, it literally is no difference. It's just the hard acrylic part is what is annoying people. They want to feel the food on their mouth. Because the roof of your mouth, you know, when you feel your food all over your face, like all inside your mouth, you can tell how much food you chewed, you know? So when you take away the palate part and it's covered in plastic, granted, I can still feel it. You can use your tongue. Make sure you chewed everything right. I think I got it all. I always make sure. Um... But, there's many times where I tried it to see if I could taste anything up top and there was no taste buds up top. So I think it's just people are just used to having that ability to use the roof of their mouth to chew. Did you just get dentures? When you said that your tongue is swollen, it feels swollen. No. Your tongue just feels big in your mouth because you have a device covering up most of the space. When you first get dentures, um, you know, you don't have a lot of gum shrinkage yet. You don't have a lot of that yet. So, you have less room in your mouth where your tongue will feel bigger. So, as your gums shrink, you'll have more space in your mouth. And when your gums shrink down to like, it, they're supposed to be like thin, smoothened out, horseshoe looking things. Um, then you could do it that way. I'm trying, to, I'm trying not to break my top edge here. But if I could just pull it out in one thing, that'd be so cool. I'm putting that in the Dentrofit Hall of Fame. No, but I got half it out. Yeah, see, you got it done. So when you first get it done, it's going to feel like your tongue is bigger. Because there's no room in your mouth. Between the device and your gums haven't shrunk yet or enough to where you have more room in your mouth. I think everybody feels that way when they first get dentures. But I keep telling everybody when you first get dentures, please stop giving up. So many people give up because like, oh, it's annoying or oh, I can't get used to it. The only way to get used to it is if you wear it all the time and you trick your body into thinking it's your real teeth. If you trick your body, then, you know, you can just, like I do, I just put them in them out of my mouth. They don't bother me. I'm so used to it now. Even my bottom dentures. And I've had them for nine months. Ow. Don't stab yourself with the tweezers. I do that often. See, doing my tops is harder to take them out because my deep, deep ass trough. Like, come on, man. I can't even put my finger in that. It's so damn deep. That's why I say use tweezers. Ooh, that was my piece. Yeah, so normally I could just take everything out easily. I don't need the Unisol. Or sometimes I'll just use the Unisol when um, I'm done taking everything out and I'm just making sure. This is actually going to be a whole lot easier than I thought. Yeah, I didn't want to do my soft reline live because you're literally going to stand there for four minutes staring at me and I can't talk. Because they got to stay in your mouth for four minutes before you take them out. So, then you could just watch the videos on how to do it. And I gave Dentrofit permission. They asked me if they can use money commercials. So, I've noticed that I'm on their Facebook commercials. Which is weird. It is weird. When you first, you gotta understand, when you first get extraction, your gums will look like a hot mess. Um, so it's probably not them. It's how they take out your teeth and pull and do all that. But, um... Hmm, you're welcome. I'm glad you like Dr. B's. Great products, man. I recommend everybody always use the liquid crystals, no matter what. Because it's the only thing on the market that kills bad bacteria. But, I mean... 
my bottoms, like my healthy teeth, they were healthy. They had to take them out because Medicaid's a butt. So when I got mine, mine looked horribly done. Like, I did a video and I showed everybody. They looked like they were totally butchered. But they heal fine. You just got to heal. And it takes time. It takes time for your gums to shrink, smoothen out, and become in the place they're supposed to be. It takes a year for the massive gum shrinkage. So everybody's, I know dentists do fuck up. They do mess up a lot. They mess up a lot. We'll just go with that. But I've noticed a lot of people blame dentists for things that aren't dentists' fault. Like when people get impressions and they're like one side is higher than the other. Mine was like that too, but it's your mouth. Because this side is more shallow than this side. My tongue can go way down. Here it can only go here. So of course you're going to have one side shorter than the other. You just fix it with an adjustment. It's not the dentist's fault your mouth is misshapen, you know. I'm not going to go yell at my dentist because one side of my mouth is, you know, more, like, shallow than the other. Yeah, but you're only at a month and a half. So your gums, it takes a year for them to fully heal. Thought I could grab it. Apparently not. So your tweezers will be your best friend. If you use Reline it, it's the cheapest soft Reline out there. Just remember, people with a warranty, and if you don't know you have a warranty, hey Glenda, um, always check with your dentist to see if you have a warranty on your denture. If you don't, you do your own stuff. If you do, do not do your own stuff, because you will void your warranty from your denture, uh, from your dentist, and then you'll be totally screwed. So, I definitely wouldn't do that. Do I think me doing my own soft relines are better if my dentist did? Yeah, of course not. Like, I absolutely agree that... You know... Always know that your gums are always going to shrink. Like, when somebody said to me um, earlier that they're going to make their dentist redo their denture because it's loose. It's going to be loose. You got gum shrinkage. You're going to have more gum shrinkage than your your permanent denture will end up fitting inside your immediate denture. That's how much gum shrinkage you're going to have. It's massive. But I feel like doing your own soft free lunch, you'll be better at it. You'll get every nook and cranny. You know where to add more, where not to. You get the hang of it. It becomes really easy. But I feel like when dentists do it, you know, they might be dentists. But they have no idea what the hell it's like to be denture They have no idea that you should do adjustments before soft relines. Duh. And they have no idea how to do a soft reline. I've seen some of them put so much on the palate, your palate never changes. Never does. If it does, it's very, very little. So you always put a small amount on there. And every instructional denture product will tell you that. Hold on, see what everybody's saying. Lisa, if you can't get an adhesive to stay in all day, here's how to do that. One, if your denture's too loose, no adhesive in the world is going to help you. You need to do a soft reline before any adhesive can work. Um, two, when you're doing a soft reline, are you spreading it out and covering it on the whole entire denture? And then you put it in your mouth in the spot that it needs to, you know, tight in place, and then wait an hour before eating and drinking. Because most people don't do that either. Adhesive is a glue, it needs to dry. But spreading it out, I always call it my Q-tip trick. Ever since I first started out with dentures, I came out with my Q-tip trick. Because those blobs are garbage. You have all that extra space where nothing's on it, and it's not covering everything. If you just take adhesive, put it in your denture, take a Q-tip and put it all in the hole inside of your denture then put it in your mouth with a thin coat of adhesive. It covers every nook and cranny of the whole inside of the denture. Then it will hold all day. Also, gum shrinkage, no adhesive is going to hold if you have too much gum shrinkage. You need to keep up on soft relines. They should be done at least once a month.
but there's no way no adhesive would ever work. Because, I mean, you can look it up. You can ask Google what is the strongest adhesive for dentures out there. It's going to be fixed at an Ultramax. Because it is the strongest. So if that doesn't work, your dentures are popping. I mean, the bottom, if it pops, take the, put your denture in your mouth, put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. If your tongue muscles are hitting your bottom denture, adjust the wall, make it shorter, and then it won't do that anymore. There's many tips and tricks to the dental world. And I've done like almost 700 videos to give everybody all the tips and tricks. I think I got most of it. I know I got it here. It's hard to get it all on the palette because that's such a thin coat. I think I got it. You hear the scraping? That's I know how it's off. It's not off right here though. That's what's cool about using tweezers. You could just take your tweezer and slide it into the uh, the soft reliner, and you can make a barrier and just cut it and pop it out. Huh, yeah, I don't recommend super glue. Not for your mouth. Please don't be one of those people to use like Gorilla Glue in the spots you're not supposed to. Like, I feel like there was common sense way more back in the day than there is now. Just saying. And I'm really not wrong. Because cause people are eating Thai Pods. And if you don't have the common sense not to eat that, then it's not my problem you get sick from it. I would hate to be the company. It's like when McDonald's got sued because they didn't put caution on a hot cup of coffee. If you ordered word for word a hot cup of coffee, expect it to be hot. Like, why do they call it common sense? It should be called rare sense. I learned everything I did from common sense. I figured out how everything worked and I learned it from there. And also, too, guys, wear, don't sleep with your dentures in, please. Because if you get mouth sores, especially when you're new to dentures, um, I still get them. I have That's why I'm doing this as an adjustment, because I have a mouth sore dug in here. And so I was like, I'm redoing my soft reliner because this shit hurts. But when you let it take your denture out at night, it heals your gums. So it makes your mouth sores heal quicker. <laughs> Glenda. Hey, Diane. So, like I said, if you're going to use adhesive, one, soft reline first, because you want to make sure that they're a better fit. It's not going to be perfect, but it's better than what you had. And you want to, um... Oh, Freaking frenulum. You want to make sure that the... You have enough hold that the soft free line covers up a lot of the gum shrinkage so denture adhesive can work because if your dentures loose guys the water is going to come in quick with the amount of gap and space you have and it's going to melt your adhesive because adhesive melts in water hey sasha what's up girl i'm on a mission i've already taken out my soft free liner here and here but i'm going to show you guys how to do your own adjustments which is another purpose to this besides trying to get it out and just know girl all of y'all out there I didn't even need to use this I just used tweezers and I got my soft reliner out except I wish I didn't have a deep palette you always want to hear the acrylic noise that noise that means you got it out but I see pieces in here Oh, that's another thing I want to say. So, recent YouTuber, well, not recent, probably a while ago, um, a ways ago, said you need your bottom frenulum, or you need your frenulums. You absolutely don't. And I didn't find that out till after I got my top denture. The only frenulum you need is your tongue one. Because you, you'll swallow your tongue and that'll suck. So, you don't need your bottom one. 
Mine's super small, so normally you don't have to get that removed. But you don't need your top one at all. They normally take that out. A lot of people get frenulectomies, get it taken out. Um, because it makes dentures more comfortable. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you got a choice, take the bitch out. Because when I first got my top denture, that was a lot of pain I endured for my stupid frenulum. Or when the adhesive gets into your frenulum and glues your denture to your frenulum, that's painful. I hate when that happens. Now I'm just getting out the little bits. On the palette, they're so thin. Okay, so I'm showing you Unisolve. Unisolve takes out only DentroFit, please. It's only given with uh, DentroFit. It does not work with Relon. It doesn't. Yeah, you don't need your frenulum. You don't need your bottom, this one, and you don't need this one. The tongue one you obviously need or you're going to swallow your tongue. And that won't be pretty. But normally it is known, and I've done a video to show everybody, you do not need it. Many dentists, I have that in the video to show um, that you don't need the frenulums. It's better for denture quality of life. <coughs> Rocky, bro. No idea. I've been doing this. Uh, I had my dentist for two years. I've been doing YouTube probably for two years. Um, I got a thousand subscribers. Normally they say it takes two to four years. I got it at six months. And I'm surprised because I'm so blunt. Um, but yeah, I've been on here for maybe two years. The first year I did well over 500 videos. It's just a second year. How much could you really talk about? So now I just really refresh my videos and do lives. And I do have a second channel, Inside the Mind of a Diva. That's everything is there. Every single thing is there. So I'm using this to see if I have any little bits left. Okay, I heard, like, if you look on the DentureFit site, it says it does not deliver to the UK. But a couple of people told me they do. So call DentureFit. They will help you. Tell them Heather B. Denture Diva sent you, and you want to know if you can get it shipped to the UK. I've heard it from other people that they do, but on their website say they don't. So I don't know. Just, I would definitely call the, talk, you can even send an instant messenger over to DentureFit. Go on their Facebook page, ask them and say, hey, do you deliver DentureFit to the UK? Because I would like to order. And just say, um, you know, you got referred by Heather B. Denture Diva. Trust me, they know me well. Because there's a couple of people said that they will. So, they used to not but I'm assuming they might be growing. I don't know. Your best bet is to talk to them. These things are coming out of my ears. I figured it would be easier. You guys can hear me. I don't work with denture fit. <laughs> I, I'm a solo YouTuber. I don't work for anybody. So you can't order anything through me because I got nothing to do to send to you. I don't work for anybody. So, if you want DentureFit, you got to get a hold of DentureFit. You got to go on their website or Facebook and ask them if you could do it, get it through the UK. I'm not sponsored or I'm affiliated with anybody. I am just the one and only Heather B. Denture Diva. I am everywhere. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I run my own support group. That is one of the most popular support groups, but I am so strict. If you don't answer the questions in detail as I asked, I won't let you in. You have a very slim chance of getting in. So if you got in, then that means you either spoke to me, or you did what you were supposed to do by answering the questions. And it's called Dentist Support Group. 
So, I mean, you can easily look it up. So is the palette. It's such a thin coat in one spot. I'm like, damn. I think the bottom is easier. There's no palette. Uh, they don't sponsor anybody. You can work for them and stuff, but they don't sponsor anybody. I wish. I wish, like, the companies I like sponsored me, like, Fix It In. Cool. I wish Dr. B did it. I wish Denture Fit did it. But no Denture product does it. That's why I tell people that I want to be Denture YouTubers. First of all, it's not easy. There are thousands of Denture YouTubers out there, and only a few of us are successful. So, do, if you are a regular YouTuber, and you don't just talk about Dentures, you talk about other stuff, then you're more likely to be sponsored by other things. And not, because centers it's almost impossible to be sponsored. I know, somebody else said that to me. I think it was the last live I did. They're like, Heather, who do we need to contact to get you sponsored? And I'm like, I don't know. If you find out, let me know. I just make videos to help people. I don't get anything out of it. I just like to help people. You guys, I started from nothing. Like, I literally got my dentures, had no warranty, had to do everything myself, and I am not the type of chick to give up. This is a piece of plastic acrylic. I'm not going to let it get the best of me, bro. Like, I've dealt with cancer, nine autoimmune diseases, two kids on my own. I've been through a lot of crap raising myself. So, this? Nah. It's more like I put my game face on and I was like, bring it, bitch, because I am not going to let you freaking defeat me. And then I just found a bunch of products and I tested everything out. Because I'd rather be honest with you guys. I hate when people are sponsored by companies that suck. And they're just doing it for the money. No, you're supposed to help people for the right reasons, not to make money. So getting other people to waste their money when you know the product isn't good, that irritates me. If you know it sucks, and it's a lot of money to put into it to even keep going with that product, why the hell would you recommend it? So, I'm just on my own. Haha, <laughs> right, Diane? You know what it is? I'm freaking legally blind. <laughs> it's not easy. But, I'm just trying to get the little bits. They're like so much easier than Realign It, though. Guys, Reline It, I wouldn't even gotten a quarter off yet. Reline It makes you want to throw your denture across the room and say, Girl, I'm gorgeous without my teeth. I don't care. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Reline It will make you want to quit wearing dentures. I'll tell you that much. I don't know how I did it. I really don't. But I am blessed to use Denture Fit. Without Denture Fit, my life would suck. At least I'm being honest. It is a great soft reline. And I, guys, I hate the feeling of hard acrylic. I really do. And these are my permanent tops. So, I mean, without it, they're only a smidge loose because my gum shrinkage. Um, reline, it does suck taking it out, James. Jesus Lord. I definitely would not make a profession out of that. You know, if somebody wants to make money, be a professional at taking out reline it. That would be making money. Just saying. It is that hard, and I'm not going to do it to show it to you guys because you'll be like, wow. Go watch the video I did. I gotta post that video. You guys will laugh your ass off. I think I bleeped out so many curse words. Now I don't even bother. I'm just like, listen. You can love me the way I am. Or you cannot watch me. I watch my language pretty well now. Sometimes I can't help it. Like, I think we all know when you deal with stupid people. Not people I help. I mean, in my life. You deal with stupid people... I've seen the holiest of holiest of people curse with that. And I remember looking at her and I was like, she's like, don't look at me like that. That person was stupid. And she was like going off and cursing and I'm like, you're 
practically Jesus. Can you do that? It was funny. It was really funny. You really have to be there because you would have died laughing too. Or my grandmother who recently passed away. When I'm on the phone with her normally, which that's been hard. Because I'm so used to picking up the phone to talk to her. So I've been calling her and the phone's disconnected, so that's been hard. But, um, I would talk to her when she gets angry and she's English. I don't hear her curse ever. It's normally like English curse words, not actual ones. So, when she would curse, I'd be like, Grandma, what the hell did you just say? And she would go off, and I'm like, you need to calm down, because I don't think, I, I think I'm going to stroke out. And she would start laughing. I was like, dude, you're English. How do you even do that? It's just funny coming out of people that normally don't. I miss, you guys, it's been hard. Okay, so all the people out there, and I know a lot of you can relate to this, if not everybody. You know when you go through autoimmune diseases or cancer or anything, a lot of physical trauma, even if you broke your leg, even if something debilitated you in some way, it messes with your mental health. It really does. And normally I'm a pretty positive person. You can ask James because I talk to James regularly. Um, some people I do. I mean, I talk to probably James more than everybody. But it's just it really gets to you. And your willpower to do things. And the pain. When I'm done with this, I'm going to show you guys the inflammation I have. And you're going to be like, Heather, how are you walking? I don't know. Oh, and I scratched myself. That's why you see this. I scratched myself the other day when I was uh, cleaning my face and doing whatever. Because I do skincare and beauty and all that, guys. That's what I do. I'm Heather B. Denture Diva. That's what I do. Well, anyway, I scratched my face. And I was like, oh, the irony. I basically got it all out. But if you really want a soft realigner to work, you really need to get it all out. But it's such a thin layer. Holy crap. But I can't handle the heart acrylic feeling. I really can't. It's too hard. I have neuropathy disease. One of them, anyway. Due to scleroderma, I have a neuropathy disease. Small fiber neuropathy. And you guys, heart acrylic on my gums is like the most painful thing I've ever processed. So I tell people, I don't care if it fits you or not, do a soft reliner. Even if it's just a small cushiony coat, do it. Because it's so much like Dentrofit is the most comfortable soft reliner. It's like a pillow for my gums. It's amazing. And so many people who finally get the courage to get it, um, when they do it and I help them do it, they're like, holy crap, you were right. I'm like, why would I lie? Why would I lie? I don't work for anybody. There's no, I don't get paid for it. I don't get a freaking percentage of anything. So, I always tell people... Oh, speaking of neuropathy, that hurt. I feel like my veins get stuck sometimes. When I move my hands. It's like something got stuck in there. I don't know if you ever felt that. Next life, no frenulum. But James, I think what I'm going to do, um, before I get my, like in a few years when I get my new top permanent dentures, first of all, I want to go brighter. Only because I want to see what my soft looks like with brighter teeth. Okay. Um, but I probably won't keep it for the next time. I'll probably make a, I can't do bright white. Like, I like mine because mine's natural. And on my skin tone, because I got some olive skin going on, um, on my skin tone, it looks bright anyway. Your shade for your denture you pick out shouldn't be really what you like. Like, I mean, you should like it, obviously, but it's supposed to be based on your skin color. That's why they're supposed to put it up to your skin. Because everybody's going to look different in each different kind. Glenda. The heat is... I'm allergic to the heat. Before I could even move my ring, so my hands are pretty swollen. See, I can't even see my knuckles. If I go like this, you can't even see them. I'm, I'm doing a light this, like, light this. And I am so swollen. I have heat intolerance because of, again, scleroderma is a butt. Um, so I'm allergic to the heat. I could just wake up in the morning and all of a sudden my skin will be hot to touch. I have heat intolerance. It sucks. 
I mean, I like summer because I could do more, but I don't like being swollen and on fire. Like, the whole on fire feeling sucks. I have one or two little pieces left of the thinnest layer ever of denturbit, and I can't grab at it. Okay, I think that was one. If you all come off in one sheet, that would be awesome. But I am going to show you guys how to do your own adjustments because it's easy peasy. You do not need a Dremel ever. Please don't get a Dremel because even dentists break dentures from using a Dremel because it does weaken. Your dentures get weakened over time. Especially if you don't soak them in water overnight. You just keep it in your mouth all the time. Your denture doesn't stay moist all the time. So that means your denture is more likely going to fall apart than the person who put it in the water. Oh, and people ask me where to store immediate dentures when they get their permanent dentures. Mine's in a denture cup with water. And I clean it at least once or twice a week. And I put it in new water. I use like the crystals. Like, that's a great way to store them. I really should hard reline that one. Holy crap, Rocky, damn. You just explained my life. <laughs> okay, so you guys all need to do me a favor. Because when I brought up nerve pain, it reminded me. I was misdiagnosed and told that fibromyalgia. Please, no fibromyalgia. People get a misconception of this. It's not an autoimmune disease. It's overactive nerves. Anybody, there's no actual test for it. They literally touch your pressure points and say you have fibromyalgia. So they misdiagnosed me with it. I actually had small fiber neuropathy, which is deadly as shit. Especially my progression, which turned to large fiber neuropathy, which is rare. Of course, leave it to me to get rare crap. And, you know, organs start to crap out on you. If you ever get diagnosed with fibromyalgia, go ask your neurologist to do a small fiber neuropathy biopsy. Do that. 90% of people come back positive and you're wrongly freaking told that you have fibromyalgia. It's called lazy doctoring. It was my autoimmune doctor that taught me that. I think if I had an itching problem, I'd lose my shit. I mean, I have pain. Everybody tells me in my house that I'm great with pain. I have a high pain tolerance. Well, that's because I'm always in freaking pain. And you get used to it, unfortunately. But summertime, I can't, guys. Dead winter and dead summer is the hardest as hell for me. And I keep almost dying. Like, organs will fail. Shit would go bad. That's why I always update you guys, because some of you do get worried, because you know my health. Um, and I don't want you guys to worry. But if something ever bad happened, I would tell you guys. Glenda, I got MS, girl. Mm-hmm. But please, go get the small, small fiber neuropathy test because MS causes that too. Also caused my legally blind shit. Um, I'm sure they did the test on you, neuromyelitis optica, which is like MS and mimics MS, but it's rare and worse. I have that too. First, they couldn't believe. They're like, you either have one or the other. It's not both. Why did both come back positive? Uh-huh. So, I just feel like I'm doomed. And I tell everybody, please use me as an example. Stress will kill you. So just learn to give people the finger and, and smile and just go about your business. Because honestly, stress doesn't fix anything, guys. It took me so long to realize stress doesn't fix a damn thing. It just takes away your happiness and makes you sicker. Hey, Rocky, that's what my tattoo says. What doesn't kill me only makes me stronger. Glenda, first of all, check to see if you were tested for neuromyelitis optica. It mimics MS. Same lesion, same all that. Um, but if you end up legally blind in both eyes, then it's more likely neuromyelitis optica. It's a simple blood test. Go to the Mayo Clinic. Um, they should have tested you for that with being with MS. Hopefully they did. So check your check your blood work up. Um, but ask them to test you for small fiber neuropathy. It's a biopsy. Write that down. Go do that. Because, girl, I'm saving you in the long run. 
I'm so glad my rheumatologist is smart as shit. You know my problem, what sucks, guys, is I have so many diseases that they're literally taking my body for science when I die. <laughs> That's when you know you're rare. But I have four rare diseases, and the rest are moderate, shitty, and common. But nobody's seen somebody have so many messed up diseases. So I have a multi-tissue connective disorder, which means I have multi tissue disease which is a bunch of connective tissue autoimmune um and it sucks but I just try to make the best of everything you only get one life bro you can be the healthiest person it doesn't matter people that are healthy die every day from some random shit I think I got it all okay I might have to take you guys on a journey I am going to make sure I have all this done. Oh, thy bottom dentures are painting the ass. Make sure that you guys clean your dentures really well and thoroughly dry them. You can use a blow dryer on the cool setting and make sure your dentures are dry before you do a soft one. Huh, that's funny. Me and Stevie went out for ice cream and I still had sprinkles in my teeth. And also, because we can't floss, um, get the poly denture brush, I swear by. That thing is so small, like it fit in every nook and cranny. Um, but I use it, like, going up and down, and it acts as a flosser and takes all the food out of the teeth. I hate not flossing, it irks me. Or you can use a Q-tip, not a Q-tip. Well, I mean, you can with that, but toothpicks are better. If you do a toothpick gently, you can take out the food out of the inside of the cracks of the teeth. Like I said, be careful. Dude, why does my dentures have to be so small? I get it. I think I caught it. I'm just trying to go through the denture to make sure I get all of it out. Because if you don't get it all out, it can mess up your self reline. And that's with any self reline, guys. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, I remember you, girl. Dude, my allergies are so bad. You can hear me sniffling and I'm stuffed up. Exactly, James. You do only live once. Holy crap, Lisa. That's some, you know, life is scary, guys. And it's true, you only live once. Do what makes you happy. And I've been in some crappy relationships in my life, guys. And I've realized that you know, if you do things that make you miserable, you're going to regret it if it's your end of the time, you know? So do what makes you happy because you freaking damn well matter. I'm so used to taking care of everybody else that it's like I wouldn't even know what to do if somebody fully took care of me. I think I would, like, I can't do that. Like, I would need to still take care of myself, but you only live once, though, guys. Don't put up with the bullshit from other people. Don't think you deserve less than what you truly deserve. Because that's BS. Alright, I think I got it all out, but oh, that's dried up already. And then I'm going to redo my soft reline, because yay! But I really, I gotta show you guys that mouse door, man. It's a mouse door from hell. It's been bothering me since I did mine, but I was like, you know, I can deal with it. But now it's just getting worse because with gum shrinkage, your denture goes down for the bottom denture. So now it's just digging like crazy. So I gotta get it out. So even though I already got all my soft relines out, I always go through there, use their remo uh, remover, Unisol. And I just coat it with the denture, in the denture. Go through it all, make sure it's all good, cleaned out. Because you'll really see it with the, resolve, with the dissolver. Is it taking off my nail polish? Dude, that's funny. I don't know. I'm going to try it out. Dude, it is. That's awesome. Well, if you ever need nail polish remover, use Unisol. Literally pink. Oh, can you even see it? Hold on. It's pink. That's funny. That is funny. Hey, Terry.
<laughs> Thanks, Rocky. Um, normally anything I get from any companies, um, wow, it really does take off your nail polish. It's sticking to the paper towel now. Um, seriously? I'm gonna see what the hell's in that shit. Is it like acetone or something? Hold on, I'm reading the injections to that one. Yeah, well, not really, it's alcohol. And some other stuff, aloe extract, whatever, but why is it taking off my nail polish? Weird shit you learned by me. Dude, I can literally take off my nail polish with this stuff. Alright. I got paper. See, it took off my nail polish. From alcohol and aloe vera. At least you learn something new every day. I gave my uh, nails a rest. Because, you know, when you do acrylic or you do um, ANC or do any of that stuff, it's a powder dip. Um, it ruins your nails over time. So you should take a break from it. It's been a couple of months now since I've done my nails. I'm literally taking off my nail polish right now. Well, that's because they, they messed it up, so I have to just take it off now. Dude, I think this comes off better than freaking acetone. And it's just alcohol and aloe vera. Word. See? Now my nail polish is completely off. So you can use it to take off your nail polish, ladies. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to bring you guys with me real quick. I'm not going to have lighting, so my bad. I got a new phone case, guys, and it barely fits on my freaking ring light. See? Let's spot where I'm sitting. Ring light. My knees are so filled with fluid. It sucks. Ow. Ta-da! Yeah, see, I marked up my face pretty bad. But I should have got my denture box. Why do my kids constantly lie down in the bathroom? Who has kids that do that? Denoyant. It's freaking annoying. I am going to find my nail file. Hey guys, I have a box of everything. Ooh, that one. I always buy separate nail files for my denture box. Do not use the same one you use on your nails, please. That's gross. But I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So if you guys have any questions for me, you want me to answer anything, definitely ask me now. Because I will be getting off soon. And I've been with you guys for an hour now. Alright, so I gotta fix that spot on my bottom denture. Just need a simple nail file. Get it by the nail section, any place. Do not use a Dremel, please. Um, you can use this one because this one's way more coarse. I might do it quickly. Um, I don't want to put this in my mouth yet, but. Oh, I gotta show you. Hold on. Can you see it? There's a big hole in my lip. So. Oh, I got a new one there. <clears throat> oh, James, I just got it. It's like freaking military grade. I only spent nine bucks on it. Um, I got it off Amazon. Um, I don't even know what it's called. No idea. But I can post it um, later to show you guys. And show you guys a picture. But it's like hardcore military grade. I'm always dropping my phone because when you have like MS and stuff like that, you just drop things. My son's an autoimmune doctor. She's like, Heather, explain to me your MS symptoms. And I told her and she was like, I've been going through a lot of that. She was like, I really need to be tested for MS because I drop everything. You don't even know it. You don't sense it. You don't feel it. It just happens. And you don't know what happens until after you're looking at your hand that just opened up on its own. It's crazy. But, if I go by my mouth, here, 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 all you have to do, I think it's inside, honestly. Either way, my gums shrink like a beast. But, I needed to do this because I'm tired of the pain. Like, guys, it's been excruciating. My back actually almost cried from the mouth sore. And I was, yeah, it's more like the outside. My bottom dentures are not thick like my top immediates were. Um, which honestly, guys, everybody hates on thick top dentures. I don't. 
Because as your gums shrink, your denture goes back and up, and you lose your lip, and all this sinks in. So you want that extra acrylic. So when you get your permanent denture, ask them to put extra acrylic up here. It'll keep your mouth more full. That's what I'm doing next time. <laughs> next time with Heather B. But I'm just going to go around the outside and make it thinner. That hole is definitely permanent, though. I've been suffering for months now. No. No, 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 Rocky, don't. Hey, Prime, what's up? Um, liquid crystals, if you don't have any soft reline, like mine right now, no soft reline. You can soak them for up to 20 minutes. If you have a soft reline, only about 8 minutes max. Um, and it kills all the bad bacteria and all that. It is not an overnight soak. Nobody should ever ever soak your dentures in any overnight soak water only water only because that stuff will damage overnight any cleaning products will damage overnight only water hey nancy so this summer might be kind of yolo with my lives so sorry um I'll try to do my best to keep it on Thursdays or whatever. But guys, the pain I endure is like no other. And I needed to get this done. And I was like, I'm going to pop some of my meds. Hopefully I can get through the live with uh, so much pain. And I look at it this way. If I break my immediate dentures, I don't care. I'm getting a permanent denture. But I prefer to keep my immediates because I want to use them as backups in case my permanent break. Wow, these got so loose. I've never felt my teeth without my denture without um a soft reline in it. Ow. I really digs in, dude. Um, so mine are so loose. But I'll get a new denture. But denture fit is a god. I tell the maker Steve all the time that whenever I talk to him, I'm like you're like the Jesus of the dental world. You know that, right? You are absolutely amazing that you created this product. And I dub you king of dentures. Because he's awesome. You can see what side... Okay, if you look, you can see one side is longer or shorter than the other. But I have it the way I want it. I have it how it's comfortable. I could take some off for future, but... Sometimes I'll do that. With immediate dentures, your gums are always going to shrink. Your bottom's going to go down. The denture's going to go up. So, I mean, if you just take a little bit off section here and there, it won't matter. But it's so crazy because when you look at the wall, you're like, wow, that's so short. But when you put it in your mouth, you're like, wow, it's so low. It's crazy. I should make a gum check video. I didn't do those for my bottoms. I, I did for my tops. I, if you guys go back on my channel and you see um, I did gum checks every month to show you what your gums look like as time goes on so you stop freaking out. People in the denture world, when they first get it, they freak out over a lot of stuff. Not everybody, but some people, it's everything they freak out over. Um, so I made it so people stop freaking out. Your gums are normal. If you never got dry socket, you're good. Your gums are completely normal the way they are and what they end up being. So anytime you need it, like over here is where I need it, I really... And it wasn't even my bottom gum. It was the outside lip part that got dug into, so that means this part was too out more. Um, just use a nail file. That's all you have to do. It's so easy. Don't use a Dremel. Don't listen to other people. You do not need to. Oh, and so many people say, what does the bottom denture look like? It should end right where your last tooth was and cover it up that way. Some people have so much extra acrylic, it goes like out to here. And I'm like, too much. And they did not put enough teeth in that. Eh, it depends, Rocky. You know, I thought I never was a steak person, to be honest with you. I actually started becoming a steak person with dentures. Isn't that funny? 
<laughs> it's actually true. Um, when I went from my, it's funny, when I did my immediate and then went to my permanent tops, I have that video. You guys can check it out. Um, I was so annoyed. So annoyed. I was, because it was so much smaller. Like, you can literally put my immediate, uh, like this, my permanent can go right into my immediate. It's so much gum shrinkage. So, it was just so funny how I was annoyed by it. I had to get used to it all over again, but it was quick. As long as you wear them all the time, guys, and do what you're supposed to do, you get so used to it. But there's so many things that can make your quality of life better. If it's loose, moving around, causing mouth sores, do a self reline. When you have a warranty of your denture, please make sure your warranty states you can have unlimited soft relines. Unlimited. Some of them are only allowed to have one. I'm like, how are you supposed to live like that? You can't. There's so much gum shrinkage. One is not going to be enough. Ever. In history. I just feel like dentists are just too naive. And I think it's time for me to make a two dentist video again. Because they annoy me. They make bad choices. They really do. And I'm like, you guys are dentists. Aren't you supposed to be better than I am at this? Really? And is it that so bad to make a piece of paper up on the computer, talking about what they will need to know or go through for the first month, put it on paper, and you print it out, make tons of copies, and hand it to somebody? Like, jeez, Lord, man. Dentists always say that, but you know why they say that? If people complain too much about their dentures, that's why. They, like, just get implants, and they drop it. No, you don't, because my denture, when they're moving around, I just do denture fit. That holds them in place, and I learned how to never need adhesive anymore, because it teaches you how to control your mouth and your denture, and you can eat without them. As long as they, anybody, you or them, if you have warranty, they would have to do it, but if you do your own soft lines. If you do a soft reline, and this is good, but over here is a little tight, wait 48 hours because they do fluff up. But you only need to add a little bit in that spot. You can add and stuff as you go, and your quality of life will be so much better. That's why I make videos. So people don't have to result to implants. Because implants, they can hit a nerve, which has happened to quite a few people. They've messaged me, and I feel so freaking bad for them. Where they permanently hit a nerve, and then they have what it feels like tooth pain for the rest of their life. Or they get bone infections. Their body rejects the implants. You're only supposed to get implants a day of extractions. If you wait any longer than that, any dentist will tell you, the more chance of you being rejected with your implants. There's no use, Diane, to polydentabs. They don't do anything. They only kill odor-causing bacteria. Um, that's it. So they're a complete waste of money. The only polydent ones I get are the smoker ones. And that's only because they lift stains really well for smokers and coffee drinkers. Um, Walmart does have it. But there's no use for any tabs. They don't do anything useful. They don't kill harmful bad bacteria. They don't do anything. So, I mean, if it makes you feel good to use them, you can. But on a logical standpoint, there's no point of using it. Uh, yes and no. Um, bone loss happens when you lose your teeth flat out. Oh, uh, you can have bone loss without losing your teeth. Depends on the person. If you have diseases, it's such a gray area. You lose bone quicker without the dentures. If you just gum it your whole life. There are too many people that private message me saying, I didn't wear my dentures for 10 years. Now that I want to, there's not enough bone to use a denture. And they were like, and the dentist told me, why didn't I wear my denture? The denture prevents you from losing so much bone so quickly. It's gradual. It's not quick or a lot, like without any support at all. You're, if you're gumming it, you're going to lose it so quickly. Super quickly. If you have health conditions, you're a smoker, drinker, all that stuff, you can lose your bone like that. It's a bunch of gray areas bunch of gray areas. But why get your teeth out and get a denture if you're not going to wear it? That's a waste of money and time and energy. I mean, people are like, oh, I can't get used to it. 
there's many things that you can do to get used to a denture. One, correct fitting. Soft relines. Soft relines are the answer to every problem. You don't like the hard acrylic feeling? Soft reline. Dentures too loose? Soft reline. It's that easy. And then you can use fix it and Ultramax and blah, blah, blah. Dentures are expensive because one, it takes time, energy, and product to make them. So it depends on what kind of dentures you're making. If you get like say digital dentures you're paying for their software you're paying for everything because they got to pay for the you know the stuff that they're using you know it's not just material you're playing you're paying for their software you pay for everything basically so i mean dentures are expensive because material fake teeth they got to make sure they do it right it's a whole bunch of stuff like my dentures i don't they never did mine where they were on a screen and they were digital but I do know my dentist uses Avaclar products. Even crowns are Avaclar. Because um, I looked, I snooped through his office. Sure. I was bored. And everything is Avaclar. And they even told me they only use Avaclar crowns, you know, fillings, all that. So I know my dentist uses Avaclar. Um, and I know that even when Dr. Because Dr. B is retired. Even when Dr. B did dentures and stuff. Um, he sent him out to a place in California. My dentist sent it out to a place in California, and they do dentures beautifully. They were like, you know, this is for a 30-year-old woman. That was 33, it's on 32. Um, she's a mom. Please make them well. She'll, they'll tell them how I want it. I never had a complaint with the way my dentures looked, ever. Of course that I suffer gum shrinkage. Everybody does. Everybody. First year sucks. No way around that. It sucks. First year. Blows. But... There are so many things nowadays. Think about it. If your grandmother, great grandmother, great grandfather, all that can wear dentures without the products we have nowadays, we are blessed to have the products we have. Blessed. And I feel like America has more of a choice than, say, Europe and, you know, other places. But being in America, we have so many choices. So many things we can use and do to have a better quality of life with dentures. And people get frustrated with just being loose the first month they take them out and they never use them again. And I always tell people, I made my support group for positivity. So people have people to talk to, communicate, to get a hold of me there, private message there, ask me anything. Nowadays I feel like it's about willpower and strength mentally. It is. This process is not just physical. You have to be strong mentally to get through the beginning stage. If you give up too easily with things, then you're probably going to give up on denture. But look at it this way. When you first get a kid, do you just say, no, I don't want them anymore? I keep getting up every two hours in my kid's college? No. You become a better parent as time goes on. Same with a new job. You do any kind of profession. Anything in life, when you learn something, it's always hard before it gets easier. So, same thing with dentures. It's no different. Best way to clean your dentures, um, I use either Fresh & Bright, which don't ever use that in your mouth, or the Dr. B's Clean & uh, Paste. The Clean & Paste is the only cleaning product in the universe you can use in your mouth and your denture. Um, so that's probably my favorite, then Fresh & Bright. Those are the only two denture pastes that are good and ADA approved, period. I will only use basically ADA approved products uh, for the most part. Liquid crystals, liquid crystals, again, the only thing on the market that kills good and bad bacteria. It the, kills the most. Then there's Denture Clean, made by DentraFit. Um, it kills half, maybe 70% as much as Dr. B's, but not fully 100%. But definitely make sure you're brushing your denture twice a day, along with your gums. If you brush your denture and your gums twice a day, especially your gums too, um, it's good blood flow, good circulation, and it actually prolongs and takes away some of the bone loss. So gum health is important. Whether you have real teeth or not, you've got to keep your gums good, bro. Clean them. Word to the wise, guys. So yeah, adjusting your own denture is easy. If like you can't get to the dentist and you're in pain, they can't see you for another three weeks, just get a nail file. And, you know, you have it in your mouth, you see where it hurts, bring down the denture, or bring up the denture, and just trim it. Problem solved. Why suffer? 
I always tell everybody, most denture problems are fixable. Easily fixed that we can fix. I mean, if you're constantly dropping and breaking it, maybe you should just keep it in your mouth. But if you break them, then your dentist has to fix them or you need a new one. But most problems with dentures, you can do them yourself. It's 100% fixable. There's an answer to every denture problem. And there, I tell people all the time, most of the time it's not the dentist's fault if one side is higher than the other. It's your mouth. This is more shallow than this side. So this side was longer. So I just had to trim it, make it even. Um, everything is easy and fixable. So don't stress about denture stuff. Really don't. Because everything is fixable, guys. Jeffrey, I've been using stuff realize the day I got my permanent dentures. I don't like hard acrylic. Your gums still shrink just very slowly. Um, so yes, you will need to do soft realigns, but nothing like you would for a media dentures. Hell no. Media dentures is like every month. I do my top one maybe if the material stays good every six months. I don't need to do it often. The bottoms get stained easily because food automatically goes to the bottom. The second you bite down, boom, it's the bottom. Fluid, you put it in your mouth, immediately in the bottom. And nothing ever goes into the top denture unless you push it there. So the bottom denture gets stained a lot easily, a lot easier. So you just gotta, I keep it clean. But make sure you guys do clean your soft realigns. So many people are like, oh, I didn't know I needed to. Just take your denture brush and just be gentle. Clean the soft reel in after 24 hours of applying and it'll keep it clean. Because I've seen people get mold and mildew from not cleaning their soft reel lines. And that's another thing, Rocky. When people put in the work and get used to their denture and they treat them like they're your real teeth, when you get used to them, guys, you enjoy smiling again. You enjoy eating again. I would never eat steak because I was always afraid to break my teeth. Now I eat steak, which is weird. I'm not even used to that yet, but I also make it super tender. So be careful what you eat because if you're not good at cooking or know your temperatures, because it should be like medium, medium well, um, you need a tender. If it's hard as a rock and a hockey puck, don't eat it. Even real teeth, I wouldn't recommend that. Oh, I go with adhesive for you, Jeffrey. I just use him to fit. I don't need adhesive at all. If you have a good fit denture, if you have your warranty, nothing much you could do. But if you don't have a warranty, get denture fit. There's a soft silicone reliner that's like a cloud on your gums. It's so cushiony. But if you do it right, it's so, like, it's even. It doesn't wiggle. It doesn't move around. It doesn't do all that. So, and it also teaches you, because in reality, with permanent dentures, you shouldn't be using adhesive. It's only for immediate dentures. So, permanent dentures, your gums, even with a soft reliner or not, it's supposed to be in place, and you learn to use your muscles like you're supposed to, to control the denture. Um, and yeah, denture fit just works a hell of a lot better. You mean steak without your denture? Because that, that, that's different. I'd like to see somebody do that. That might be hard as hell. Or you mean steak without real teeth? Because I eat steak with just my dentures and it's awesome. I think anybody would get implants if they could afford it. But they're too expensive. And not for nothing, if you don't get them done the day of extractions, they could be rejected after that. Especially if they're going to put fake bone in there to fill in the area. And then they can hit a nerve. You can end up with a lifetime of pain. Get massive bone infections. They tell you all the risks. Yeah, why would you do that, James? Steak without dentures? Holy fucking hell. First of all, your jaw had to have hurt. That Your jaw must have been super tired. Don't do that, James. Wear your damn denture. Um, 
I don't think it expires. You could check if um, the box if it has an expiration date, but I think as long as you never opened it, you're more than welcome to use it. I don't think it would be any problem. Yeah, you have to pay to get them out. Jesus Lord, you put all that money in to get the implants. Now the massive infection. Oh my God. And healing from that? Yeah, I have bad luck, so I just won't. I tell people all the time, if you got money to do it, get all on four dentures. So that's like, say this for your top and bottom, so it's just a, it's a bridge. You know, it's just a part of the denture that gets screwed on and it permanently stays there unless the dentist unscrews the implant part, brings it down, cleans it, does all that. But you can still brush it normally, do all that, but it never comes out unless the dentist does it. The all on four ones, I highly recommend if you have the money before you start the process. I wouldn't recommend it if you're like, say, four years later. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend anybody eating. I wouldn't recommend anybody eating without their dentures, let alone steak without dentures. That had to have been. I would have took small bites, man. It's a lot of sure you didn't choke on that. God, your jaw must have been like I could feel the pain of the tiredness on my jaw. Right? That's insane. Right, Jeffrey? That is talking about the positives. Tooth pain. You get this process done, no more cavities, no more root canals, no more abscesses, no more like... When I was on cell that caused me to get dentures, it was, I had a bad sinus infection, and it went down to my teeth, and they couldn't control it. Because when you're on an autoimmune suppressant, you have no immune system. Oh my god, that was so bad. My teeth went from being healthy to shitty within a few months. It totally sucked. Alright guys, I'm going to go wash these babies, clean them, do all that, and put some denture fit up inside them. If you guys ever want to know how to put denture fit in, you can just go to my video. Um, it's, just, it's literally my most popular video out there. Um, it's how to put it in. No, I do not work with them. do not make money. You don't do nothing. I just love Vectorfit. It's freaking awesome. Why not promote products that actually work and do well? But um, if you ever want to know how to do it, the video is up there and I do it with you guys as I'm doing mine. But I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to go clean these babies and get my Vectorfit in. Yeah, but that's just a normal, Lisa, that's just a normal mouth guard. I saw that the other day at the store. It's a normal mouth guard. You can just get a normal mouth guard and wear it when you're you should only be wearing your, you should wear your denture all day. Don't put, don't wear your mouth guard instead of your denture. That's ridiculous. Only use a mouth guard when you're sleeping because that's what I do. And I know many people do that because when you take out your dentures, this collapses and it will hurt really badly. So you can use any mouth guard. But I love you guys. Be safe, stay out of trouble. And you can message me anytime as always. I'm probably going to do a surprise giveaway um, during the weekend. So make sure your notifications on and you don't miss out. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to be irritated if you miss this giveaway. But I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. Later, guys.